Hello, it's Sarah. I have a couple projects I want to share with you guys. Uh, first, I wanted to say thank you for those of you who have reached out. Um, we are okay. New Jersey was hit with some storms recently. Ida came through as a tropical storm and it actually caused tornadoes um, about an hour from here. So really scary, very close by, and really wreaked havoc. There's still flooding. There's still a lot of cleanup and stuff. Um, last night we actually had another uh, really bad rainstorm and stuff, but again it was about an hour <laughs> um, northwest. So, or yeah. So luckily, and that's not to say it won't hit us at some point, but right now we are fine. And it's rainy today, so I'm in the craft room. And I have some projects to share with you guys. Um, I've been doing mosaics. I'm still working on the mosaics. I have a lot of tessera to use up still. <laughs> um, and I have a craft show coming. Not this Saturday, next Saturday. And I'm so, like, obsessed. I get obsessed with things, so I haven't been focusing on the craft show at all. <laughs> I have plenty of stuff. Anyway, so this is one thing. Now, first of all, I shared last time that I made this a bigger mirror than this. Um, where is it? It's over there. Anyway, so all I did, this is the wood rounds that I have for um, to, to burn on. And I've just been taking them, finding my center, and gluing down these are you can buy these in the craft store these mirrors and then I create around it this whole piece was designed based on these beads pink blue yellow green basically and because I am so rough I rubbed off the finish of the bead so it spoils the piece for me in a way I haven't painted the back yet so I don't know I'll probably bring it to the craft show but it's super disappointing I mean I'm learning as I go obviously I mean I thought I could use these beads as a tile and and you'll find out I've I'm ruining tile um, again I'm gonna have to do a shout out to Peter Peter Twinings. I don't know why. I just, I rub off the finish. I'm so rough. So anyway, this design just, I mean, it just started, I didn't, I'm not really drawing anything on the piece first. I just start kind of doing a mosaic. I, I section out the piece and then, so I probably started with these and I just glued them on and then I just started building and building and this is what it ended up as. And I just started pulling colors from those beads. So it's a shame. I don't know. And yeah, and I'm being very rough with the grout, I think, because I'm scratching the pieces. So you'll see. So this is one. I think I will finish it and I'll bring it to the craft show. Um, this one, uh, this one. So then, okay, I'm taking a class. I took a class. This is the class I took. And it's on. Um, Let's see, I have it right here. Mosaic Arts Online. And this one is by a guy named David Jarvanen. And he has, um, let's see, he has his own business called, I think it's called The Mosaic Guys. Um, I will put the info in the description box. But the great thing about taking a class online, it's a little more expensive probably. But you have it forever. So I was able to watch this a few times. Um, and actually, the next one I do, I'm just going to watch it fully through a couple times. Because then you really get an idea. Because um, I'm still not perfect with the lingo. Like, for instance, the way we did the back, the filled in the head on the skull, uh, is called, he said it's called crazy paving. I'd never heard of that, and I didn't really know what it was. So, and he didn't teach this class as a very beginnery class either. Like he didn't really describe that to me. He he did it briefly, and then he just started doing it. I mean, good enough, but I didn't know what he was talking about. Anyway, um, this background is just kind of he called it something again. I don't know, but we just made rows of half tiles and quarter tiles. So just made a pattern, but. There really comes, it, it's like the design works. Like I'm drawn to the sugar skull. Oh, and it was a mixed media piece. So we used some porcelain pieces, which are thicker than glass. So 
<coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> you had, and that way, you have a little dimension to the piece, which I love. I've always loved mixed media. I love diversity as a thing anyway, so it was really fun. And there's actually another class that he's teaching on the same uh, website that I'm thinking of taking. Um, but I do. I love it. I love how it turned out. It was fun, and I ended up ordering all of the glass as well from him, I, he, from his shop, which made it much easier. Um, and again, not cheap. Like, I could have used what I had for sure. They don't say that you should buy the tiles from them or anything, but I just wanted to do it so that I knew exactly. I wanted to do exactly what he was doing so that I knew that I, I learned that way. I learned by doing, so that was really fun. And this is just basically like a... I got a set of three. They're like diploma frames or something, and you just we just glued it right onto the glass of the frame. So it was really, really fun. I love that one. And then this is one that I designed myself, and this was inspired by this. I came across this tracing that I had done for a wood burning. It's just a little house. I think I've made ATC cards of this design. I've zentangled it. I've done a lot of different, and it's a very basic like two-dimensional it's like one-dimensional I don't know so I got some graph paper out and I drew out um, the size that I wanted and I made myself a pattern and this is the piece so it's home sweet home I like it I'm pretty happy I did it on this is just a piece of MDF which I, what does that stand for some type of a manufactured wood so I'm not really sure, but it's not porous, and um, I had some of it from, I think it was in packaging. Oh, here it is. So I had it in packaging, and I got, I made a desk or something that I ordered, so these pieces were um, in the, as used as packaging. So I kind of scored them up, and they're ready to make a mosaic on. So um, I just figured I'd use that. But you can use anything. You can use wood, you know. Um, it, I knew it was staying inside, so I just played around. I used um, Weld Bond for my glue, and mostly all tessera, tessera that I had. I used the little um, milliflory flowers in the grass. I have a couple of them. I used stained glass as well. I cut stained glass to make the letters. Um, the sky is all stained glass. Um and this grass and this this these bushes um, so these are circles circles these are glitter squares I cut these these were one inch squares these were half inch and I cut them and then these are triangles this is uh, aren't they so pretty though those glitter tiles they're so pretty and then the house is stained glass as well. I just cut strips and kind of put that in. Mirror for the windows, glitter tile for the door. But I want to show you something. I'm a little disappointed because it's all scratched up. And you can't really tell from looking at it from this. But when you get close to it, like kind of, I can see it. There's, t look, like tons of scratches right here. I'm going to come in. You see all those scratches? I scratched the glass um, and I want to say it's mostly the pre no because look at that I can see scratches on that I'm just so rough and I think it might have to do with the I scratched the heart it might have to do with the grout there is sand in the grout and it's because which that's another thing I didn't really know the difference between why you would use sanded and non sanded grout and it has to do with your grout lines. Like if you're going to have thick grout lines, you want sanded grout. And if you're going to have really tiny, thin grout lines, you want unsanded. But anywho, so yeah, it's pretty scratched up. Very disappointing. So I've had some disappointing <laughs> trial and error sessions here. Um, it is what it is. I don't know if I could have completely... <laughs> figured that out beforehand and not done it but I just know that I need to be more gentle <sighs> it's just something I'm working on so yeah it's a little disappointing off-putting I'm 
I'm, I wanted to keep this anyway. It was for me. I didn't do anything to the background or um, to the back yet. To the sides or back. I'll paint it and um, put a hanger on there and um, I'll hang it up because I do love it. I just love the shininess. Anyway, the other thing I wanted to talk about. So I had seen, because I go on Pinterest, you guys. You guys know this about me. I went on Pinterest. And if you look at mosaics on there, there's one artist, actually, now that I'm uh, Treasury Road on YouTube, um, talked about a couple of Facebook um, groups that, that I joined. One was Mosaic Mentoring. And there's a girl that posts on there all the time, and she makes kind of animal faces and stuff a lot. And she uses ball chain as her kind of division line. Um, so I went ahead and ordered, you know, as we do, I got, this is number six ball chain, and I think this is either number, I think this is number 10. So this is quite thick, really large um, gauge ball chain, and I mean, you could use it for all types of things, um, but I am going to be using this for some mixed media pieces. I also ordered some of this um, armature wire. Um, this one I got, I got, I think I got all these from Amazon, but this armature wire, and actually Peter has a piece, a video that he does using this to make like a flower shape. So for instance, I'm going to be working on this um, mirror. This is just an Ikea mirror that I prepped. So basically I just um, scratched it up with a exacto knife and then I painted it with some glue actually I think the glue is peeling off because this has already been finished so I don't know if that was a good move or not I might sand it first now because now that I see the glue is coming off um, anyway I was thinking of using some ball chain and just making some swirls and stuff uh, through here and just kind of filling it in with, I don't know what color. I think I'm going to keep it, I want to try and go kind of not as many colors because I think I've been using too many colors. So anyway, still exploring and experimenting. These are really, really reasonable. I want to say they're maybe, they're under $10 or they're $10 at Ikea and I have a couple of them. Um, anyway, I also have like one of these that I'm really thinking I might want to, what is this called? A base, basswood canvas. This is 12 by 12. Um, I could tile the sides. I think I could do, like what if I did chain down the sides to make it like a vine and then I put like leaves and little flowers. OMG, I might have to do, start on this. So I'm going to prep this. <laughs> But yeah, I just want to finish this up because I have a craft show on, not this Saturday, next Saturday. And I just want to have a few things that I can bring. Um, I'm sharing the, the spot with one other person. So it's just for fun mostly. I don't really mind if I don't sell anything. Um, but anyway, so um, still working on my mosaics and playing and I may be taking another class but look at my sugar skull he's so cute I love him I don't know I might do another one of these because I could just use my own tiles I have other I have similar tiles to these anyway um so fun so I hope you guys are having fun today. It's rainy in here in South Jersey today. It's been beautiful weather, but I um, figured I'd hang out in here today. I hope you're all doing well, and take care of you, you guys, okay? Thanks for watching.